Films TV All. All right, this is going to be a fun one. Round one. What's going on, guys? It's William Tackett here, again with another commentary jujitsu role. And this one's between me and my teammate and training partner, Matt Copra. Matt Copra is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu brown belt and um, very, very strong guy. He's in the Army. He's a weightlifter. You know, he's a young dude, very talented. This was a really fun role because um, both of us were just coming off of a, a long weekend. I think we just got done competing, so we were pretty tired, so we were just doing a really nice fast-paced flow roll and working for a lot through a lot of positions and throwing out a lot of techniques and working on some new stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy. And as you can see early on, we're moving a lot. We're um, constantly fighting for the legs. He's fighting for that underhook to get the pass. As you can see, we're kind of settling into the leg exchange here, and Matt just steps right out, works his way back into a passing position, and I keep looking for that K-guard style entry on the leg. But you know he does a good job at retracting his leg and coming back to top position. And here he is settling in that headquarters looking for a smash pass. Now, from here, notice how I can kind of elevate Matt's weight off of me, and he changes straight to the, the knee slice there. Now, that move I just did right there, that's a pretty unique move that you might not see often. It's where I can elevate that cross-facing arm and throw my legs up and over their waist, or their back, and cap capture their arm. You might see a, um, that in my new BJJ Fanatics instructional, so if you guys buy that coming out soon, you'll see me demonstrate that. But here it is, Matt looking to pass the guard. And look, he gets that underhook there again in a nice cross-face. But he has to abandon it because if you notice, I had that calf slicer there, and that's the same calf slicer that I was able to hit on Dante Leon at my who's number one performance. But Bat's very, you know, we train a lot, so he knows what I like to do, and I know what he likes to do, so he's able to counter it. And there you see me back rolling into that position once more that I just talked about recently and um, looking to this front headlock position. This is kind of like a guillotine style uh, front head, but he was able to roll out and Again, we're flowing, so we're we're moving out a lot. He, he's he's moving. I'm not really trying to hold him too hard. He's not trying to hold me too hard. We're trying to create a lot of movement. It's a really good style of rolling if you want to just get a good workout in, and you know maybe you're better than your par partner or they're better than you. It's a good way to kind of still have a really fun roll, just keeping it really lighthearted, not really trying to finish anything, but keeping each other honest. And you'll see that throughout this match. Co uh, Matt keeps really working heavy on the pass and keeping me honest and I keep keeping him honest with some submissions and some sweeps and here he was posting on that wrist control to maintain his balance that's a really good detail when you're trying to come back up to a standing position is posting that wrist that way they can't really frame or offset your balance with their head head or their hand and you can get back to your feet and there Matt had a really nice scramble there to my back and um, I was able to barely work off to the side and escape and find myself in top position here looking for that underhook and playing with that knee slice there. See, I have that underhook and isolating that arm, but he was able to wiggle his arm out and get back to his guard here. Me looking for like a body lock style pass here, working some leg pummeling from top position. Matt was able to work in like a deep half guard and start changing to even a leg attack here. And I was able to back step out to unwind everything there. That's what you'll see a lot with these leg exchanges. It might look confusing, but for the most part, when there's a lot of spinning, it's when you're trying to unwind the situation. There again, see I unwind the situation. It's kind of like a yo-yo. When everything's tied up, you just go the opposite way and you can kind of unwind it most of the time. Matt does a good job there at working back into his guard and actually wrestling up here, collecting both of my legs. It's a little slippery, so it's kind of hard to maintain top position there, but here he is now looking to uh, enter into the legs here again, but look at me posting that far leg there. By posting that far leg, I was able to smash his hooks and then, again, unwind the situation there and land in like that top body lock. Now, that was the end of the roll there, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, just like, comment, subscribe, and um, hope you guys learned a little bit from watching our round. I appreciate it, and uh, thank you for always tuning in.